heard the saying, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And during this holiday season, one nonprofit is uniting communities by encouraging others to never stop dreaming. It's called Campaign One at a Time, and they're working to make wishes come true for one family in suburban Bartlett with a child battling cancer. The incredible mission, courtesy Campaign One at a Time, and the family of that handsome young man right there, Herbert James Taylor. Herbert, I call. I hear they call you Herbie. Yes. Is so that yes. true? <clears throat> All right, I like that. Uh, Herbie, my man, how are you feeling today, buddy? Good. Okay, so mom, tell me, Herbie has cancer. So Herbie, Yes, Herbie had uh, medulloblastoma. He was diagnosed in September of 2021. Mm -hmm. And um, he went through two, uh, almost two years of treatment. He had radiation and chemo, and he is now um, cancer-free. Oh, right. And um, yes, we were just celebrating every single day that we were given, and he's doing wonderful and he's you know back in school and he's thriving great and we're just we're just extremely fortunate herbie how are you feeling my man good and i hear that this group has got you set up to go on a special trip in 2024 do you know where you're going yeah, where are you where, <laughs> where are you going Disney World. Disney World. That's right. I mean, you got to be fired up about that. So, Mom, tell me about it. Uh, how unbelievable <clears throat> is it? There's so many burdens, uh, not only on young Herbie, but on you, the mom, and the family, and Why the caretaker, like smoking? And, and the you know extended families. Um, what is it like to be able to get a gift like this? It is truly just wonderful. It just, it really, you know, shows, you know, brings back humanity, you know, in the world after what we've been through. And I unfortunately like cannot, you know, I, I can't work. I was a teacher and there's just no way that I could possibly work right now, um, given all the doctor's appointments he still has and just, you know, being on call with, you know, anything that may arise. So <clears throat> being able to, being gifted, to go to Disney World, which is something that Herbie has been wanting to do. We made a vision board in the beginning of his diagnosis and it's right on his vision board. Um, so we are just, you know, beyond excited and I can't wait for him to experience Disney World. I've never gone to Disney World. So um, we're just, we just feel again, just extremely fortunate. And for all the donors that donated to, um, his fundraiser we are just so grateful for each and every one of you and just know you just made you know this little boy so happy and one of his dreams come true and um i think any child that is endured you know going through uh treatment for cancer deserves mm -hmm. every single thing in this world that they could get I, I hear a hint of it in your mom i'm being told to rap but emotionally what does this mean um it's just I, I just feel like it's especially like with him <clears throat> you know he rang the bell i just feel like it's just a great celebration and it's just you know just a triumph for him um and i mean the best way to put it is just like we're it's a big celebration that we get to have with him at disney world absolutely herbie who are you looking forward to meet most uh mickey 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 okay I'm sure Mickey is pumped up to see you in 2024, all courtesy of campaign one at a time. Uh, Kirby, you are an adorable young man. We're happy you are with us. We look forward to you growing up and to be a big boy and a young man. Mom, thank you for what you've done too. Uh, and I think it goes without saying, uh, Merry Christmas to you both. Yes, Merry Christmas to you as well. Thank you so much. Okay.